Hey guys, what's up? I'm Deep Gautam. So it's time to learn something very very interesting called order management. How order management we have achieved? We have done inventory management, vendor management or order management. This is going to be the full project. In a minute, I will tell you what you are gonna to learn in this video. So just stay tuned and watch till end and uh, I'll show you very very interesting. This is something my order management is screen which I am showing in the print screen. So how you can generate the order for which vendor, what would be the shipping details and what would be the product details. Let's go to our next slides. What all the components I have used. So just uh, I will show you what you are gonna to learn and how you can achieve same things. So just stay tuned with me. So these are the component grid, model pop-up, text box, drop down, button, menu bar, reactive forms, template forms, validations, masses, uh, almost everything in Angular you are gonna to learn in this. So these are the component how I achieved and how I binded those components that I am gonna to show you. Next things what you will learn in this video how order management system works, code walkthrough line by line, full demo of complete Angular 5 projects. Who can take the advantage of this project? Students, they can use for the college projects. Developer can learn building real-time complete systems. And uh, retailer can use to manage the inventory vendors and orders. Here is the important things. What would be, uh, what is the roadmap? Inventory management, vendor management, order management and dashboard application. Till now I have finished inventory vendor. It's time for the order management. And then I will come up with the dashboard of the application with the very beautiful UI. So do not forget to subscribe .net key, enable channel notification, comment your questions on videos, comment your email ID on video to get the full source code. So I promise you to reply your uh, comments and give you the source code. So that's all about the things which I have prepared for the PPT. So let's see how inventory management system works and uh, how we can place the order. So this is my inventory management where I have uh, lot of uh, items so these are the items which i have in my inventory now uh, we have uh, this paging grid and uh, you can see that these are the items which i have in inventory who are my vendors so i have these many vendors who are interested to buy my items so okay so the one vendor came and asked for me these in, uh, items which i have in inventory so i will go to order management and generate the order for that particular vendor so it's uh, time to generate the order for the vendor. So in order to generate the order, I will select so PO dates. So it will select today's date. I am selecting over here. What kind of PO I am generating? Let's say it's a regular PO. Okay, it's a regular. So that is my regular customer. Okay. Let's say vendor details for whom I want to sold out. So AFD, Reliance, Seven Days, Neil Giri, Walmart USA, CCD. Barista or Starbucks. So let's say Walmart is gonna to purchase something from me. The moment I select Walmart, everything has been selected for the Walmart because I have already added that particular vendor in my vendor management. Okay, let's see what would be the shipping detail for them. So Walmart is asking, let's say Walmart is asking me to deliver all the item by FedEx courier. So I will put my uh, air bill number and uh, I will put my uh, request date over here and uh, let's say they would like to deliver it at California hmm. California Walmart Center pardon me if it's spelling is wrong Walmarts okay so this is uh, California Walmarts okay let's see what all the products walmart would like to buy so let me select some so they would like to have onion they would like to have potato from here i will go to next page and i will select some other items they want almonds from india walnuts and sugar also they want let's see they would like to have third place ghee from Patanjali as well. So these are the items which Walmart wants and I have added them in the list. Okay, they would not want to. They want just 50 quantity from here. They just want 20 quantity from here. They just want 60, 690 quantity from here. They just want 78 and they just want let's say 500 quantity from here and they just want uh, 923 quantity from here. Let me place the order for Walmart. So these are the, my order details which I am gonna to place for the Walmart vendors. So it's 
let's place the order for them and I have click place order button so it is it will take my all the details and go and place the order for the Walmarts so <laughs> basically there is my service running behind and uh, it will go to the service and hit the service in order to take it uh, further so it has come over here in my break points and uh, yeah system is little bit slow so just uh, forgive me yeah it has came over here and whatever the order details is there it is uh, just um, it has those order details so I have ordered six items which you can see on the list so that's the proof where I'm doing it and I say okay please go ahead and do it for me and it says your order has been placed successfully and it has given me the grade whatever the item I have ordered and whatever what was the per unit price what was the category and what was the description so these are the items which I have ordered it I can print the invoice or I can uh, export the invoice so this was the part how my system works over here let's jump on to the code of that particular page so, so let's see what is there on my code and will go line by line into my code so so I need what is the HTML in the order component and uh, I will say okay hide this particular thing so now you are able to see into the full page and I will go over here and I will show you my HTML just do not worry about if you are missing anything just follow with me you would be well so uh, this is my uh, generate order form where I, I have given the control purchase order details then vendor detail then shipping details so these are the shipping details over here I will uh, scroll down over here and this is how I am doing these things so this is uh, product order details and uh, then your order details so the moment you click on the place order this grid is going to get displayed with your all the selected items so this is about my html if you, if you are missing anything so the vendor management and uh, inventory management i have already shown in my previous videos just do not worry about things and i'm ready to give you the code as well so just not need to so just uh, go um, just stay tuned with me and learn the concepts what are the concepts i have used okay let me show you over here in the page what is the ts component looks like so whatever the required module is there i we have imported over here so just look into this section so these are the modules which ha we have imported it then this is uh, selectors app order template urls and uh, these things what would be the service url for the orders so for product i'm using this service and for order i'm using this service these are the variables which i have used and the classes which I have defined for me in order to interact with the component and do the operations so these are uh, these many variables have been declared how I fill the vendor details the moment user selects on the vendors I say uh, get the vendor code and uh, get the all the vendor details from the selected vendors then in ng in it what I do I get all the items all the products from there all the vendors uh, from my vendor management then in the category i fill what kind of category it is these are the things from the category and this is the growl matches which we uh, we have shown in the green and then uh, how we are getting the vendor over here this is the save method the moment user clicks on the place order so i am fetching all the details from all the section and keeping into place order so if you are missing anything you just uh, have a look on this code so how i am saving the details of the order and this is uh, uh, error handling and subscription the moment order has been placed successfully I am displaying the pop-up over there so that's about uh, the pop-up things and uh, this is our row selected these are my classes different classes vendor prime vendor purchase order and then shipping and say uh, order details and uh, the items whatever I have so hope uh, you have liked it if you have liked this video and this full project so you have learned vendor management inventory management and order management thanks for watching dot net key i would request from all you, of you please subscribe my channel enable notification and if you are stuck anywhere just ask the code from me thanks for watching thank you guys